Welcome to Biomass Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. We invite you to attend or exhibit at the International Biomass Conference and Expo, taking place February 3rd through the 5th in Nashville, Tennessee. This is the world's largest gathering of biomass professionals, exhibitors, and stakeholders. Learn more at biomassconference.com. A military installation in New York will continue to be powered by biomass. Government officials announced on November 26 that the Defense Logistics Agency will no longer seek to renegotiate its contract with ReEnergy to provide biomass power to Fort Drum. ReEnergy Black River was awarded a 20-year contract to supply energy to Fort Drum in 2014. The 22-megawatt power plant, which was converted from coal to biomass, is located at the military installation. Earlier this year, reports indicated the Defense Logistics Agency was proposing to end or significantly amend its contract with ReEnergy, despite ReEnergy meeting all performance requirements and investing $50 million into the facility. New York Senator Chuck Schumer and others lobbied against altering or ending the contract. Read more in our online coverage. And Viva is moving forward with plans to increase capacity at its Southampton pellet plant in Virginia. The company announced on November 20th that the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality has approved requested modifications to its existing air permit that will allow for increased production capacity and increased use of softwood at the Southampton pellet plant. The updated permit will allow the Southampton facility to boost production volumes by approximately 245,000 metric tons annually. The plant currently has an annual production capacity of 510,000 metric tons. Under the modified permit, Enviva will also install additional air emission control equipment at the plant to further minimize air emissions. A newly announced agreement is expected to result in the development of a new anaerobic digestion plant in Delaware. Bioenergy Devco announced November 20th that it has entered into a 20-year partnership with Purdue Farms for the supply of organic material from Purdue processing facilities, as well as the purchase and management of the Purdue AgroRecycle Organic Soil Composting Facility, located near Seaford, Delaware. Under the terms of the agreement with Purdue Farms, BDC will purchase the existing composting facility and operate it while working with the Delaware Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Control and Sussex County Permits Process to construct an anaerobic digester at the site. The anaerobic digestion process will transition the poultry processing byproducts to both renewable natural gas and an organic soil amendment while continuing to support the compost facility. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the biomass industry's top stories.